Good afternoon and uh, welcome to Agri-Food Conversations brought to you by iSelect Fund, the Van Trump Report, the Yield Lab Institute, and Family Farms. My name is David Yoakum. I'm an associate on the iSelect Fund Ventures team, and I'm excited to welcome you to our discussion today. Agri-Food Conversations is all about driving innovation in agriculture. Each month, we highlight a specific theme, and this month's theme is water management. On today's call, we're joined by Patrick Henry, CEO of Grow Guru. GrowGuru's platform is based on soil sensors that measure things like soil moisture, temperature, and salinity, and, the, and then wirelessly transmit that data to the cloud where it is used to make AI-based recommendations for farmers. The GrowGuru solutions help farmers increase crop yield, while at the same time preserve water and other scarce resources in a sustainable way. Now, each of you knows that companies are more likely to succeed with the right network of customers, talent, investors, and advisors. We invite you to this call because you are some of the smartest, most talented people in GrowGuru's market. You are potential customers for GrowGuru's products and services. You have built a company, company similar to GrowGuru, or you have unique expertise and understand the challenges and opportunities GrowGuru may face. Before we get started, we have a quick poll question to get a better idea of who we have on the call today. Please take a few seconds to answer. And while that poll is running, a few process comments. We are not soliciting investment. This presentation is to provide information to help grow Guru, find customers, mentors, and other strategic relationships that can help them grow their business. You can ask, you can use the Q&A box, box to ask a question at any time, and we will answer as many questions as time allows at the end of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded. It'll be available for replay. So without further delay, I am pleased to introduce Patrick Henry, CEO of Grow Guru. Patrick, please feel free to take it away. Thank you, David. As, as David mentioned, I'm Patrick Henry. I'm the CEO of Grow Guru. I'm a serial entrepreneur with uh, multiple exits, including an IPO that led to a billion dollar valuation. I initially got involved with GrowGuru as an angel investor early in the stage of the company and then joined full-time in, in 2018 with my other two co-founders, Fruk Anjum, who's a PhD electrical engineer and Jeff Campbell, PhD physicist, who's an expert in soil sensors. So GrowGuru is all about strategic irrigation management. We help farmers make more money by increasing crop yield and more efficiently using water and other scarce resources in a more sustainable way. This is the disclaimer information from, from my, our friends here at iSelect. You can read this at your leisure. The problem we're addressing, so there obviously there's a big macro problem where we have too many people, not enough food, not enough water. Over 70% of the world's fresh water supply is already used for agriculture irrigation. And we need to increase the food supply by 70% by 2050, just to keep pace with population growth. Obviously that math doesn't work. And we need to implement technologies that will more efficiently use water, which is what GrowGuru does. Getting down to the micro level, about 95 or about 90% of farmers currently use suboptimal methods for irrigation management. They may look at what their neighbors are doing, look at what they did last year, you know, basically look at the farmer's almanac. And, but a number of them are moving and starting to adopt new technologies. And about 10% are currently using soil sensors with good results, but the competitive alternatives are expensive. Uh, they don't really scale very easily. In field crops, they require annual installation and removal. And they're not really providing the software solution from an integrated decision support standpoint. As an example, one of our, our farmers in the Texas Panhandle, Tom Moore, I asked him, he's a very sophisticated irrigator, gotten significant results from the use of soil sensors. But I asked Tom how he manages irrigation. And he said he looks at five computer screens and has a yellow pad and a pen to kind of figure out how things are going. So clearly there's an opportunity for improvements there. So if you look at irrigation management and really crop yields, Optimum irrigation has the single biggest impact on crop yield and crop quality. The root zone is where the nutrition goes into the crop, where you, the, the water goes into the crop. And without the proper amount of water, you can't get the nutrition into the crop. So it's really the catalyst for unlocking um, the fertilizers, unlocking the potential in the seeds. In annual field crops like corn and soybeans, the competitive alternatives need to be annually installed and removed because they cable from the sensors in the ground to the above ground telemetry, the above ground communication system. And obviously you can't have anything in the field when you're seeding or when you're harvesting these types of crops. So that's a significant problem. In addition, you know, we talked about the five computer screens and a yellow pad. So clearly an opportunity for improved decision support. 
So Grogu addresses both of those issues. First, we develop what we call the wireless underground system or the WUGS. And basically that eliminates the cables from the sensors in the ground to the above ground telemetry. This allows you to do a single install once every five years. You can do the install during the six month fallow season instead of a narrow four week window around crop emergence. And then the competitive alternatives have to do that as well as remove them in a four week window prior to harvest. Then we wirelessly communicate the information to the cloud where we have strategic partners where we're bringing information like the as applied data from the irrigation system, weather forecasts, crop models. And then we present uh, recommendations to farmers about when and how much to irrigate on a very simple, intuitive, farmer friendly user interface that they can access on their mobile device or tablet or computer. And in the next generation of the Grow Guru Wugs, uh, we'll be going mobile. Uh, we're going from a one way version to a two way version which allows the above ground telemetry to be removed from the field altogether. So currently we have something that can be removed in a few seconds. Ultimately we'll have something that uh, gets mounted on the center pivot irrigation system or on a drone. So it really addresses the problem very, very nicely. Digging a little bit deeper into the decision support tool, we call that Grow Guru Insights. Uh, so this is our SaaS solution that complements the hardware. And we've really developed an irrigation system agnostic solution can work with any drip irrigation, any center pivot irrigation, any sprinkler irrigation system. We have partnerships with Valley Irrigation, Belmont. Valley is the market leader in center pivot irrigation. We have an API arrangement with them where our end customer farmers can just check a box and select if they want uh, us to have access to their telemetry. Valley has over 128,000 connected devices deployed and they're continuing to grow. DTN is a leader in weather forecasts and crop models. That's part of our cloud-based solution that we uh, ultimately give better recommendations to farmers. And then we're partnered with uh, capacitance probe uh, sensor companies like Centec and AquaCheck. Ultimately, you know, I think there's a lot of partnerships that need to be crafted in this business to break the market open. Our value proposition, which we think is unique, is uh, we reduce the total cost of ownership by removing the annual install and removal. This is a big deal because every time you roll a truck, it's an inconvenience to the farmer at times when labor is most scarce, but it's also about $300, $350. We massively improve scalability by being able to install once every five years during the six month fallow season when there's not crop in the ground, as opposed to trying to do it in a very narrow four week window. And if it rains, four weeks becomes three weeks. We increase the yield by 10 to 20% while at the same time reducing the input, input costs by about 10 to 20% on average. There are farmers that get better results in this, but it's really the, more than just about saving, you know, thousands and then millions of gallons of water. It's also about making use of that water more efficiently. So getting more, more uh, bang for the buck or more uh, pop for the drop, so to speak. Also, all the things that we're doing in the cloud really is the precursor for irrigation automation. The way I like to think about it is providing the easy button for farmers on how to manage irrigation. Massive market opportunity. There's over 52 million acres of irrigated crops in the US. 44 million of that is annual field crops where the Grow Guru Wug solution has a distinct advantage. And we also have trials going on in dryland farming. These are farmers that rely purely on rainfall in areas where people have installed pattern tile drains for water mitigation and water management. Think of these like French drains for, for a crop field. Those are areas where we see some significant advantages of deploying soil sensors, which with the competitive alternatives, there's just no way that you'd be able to deploy in those regions. It's just not scalable uh, enough for those types of opportunities. Business model, we're hardware enabled SaaS. So we deploy uh, sensors in the ground, communicate that to the cloud, and then we provide a software as a service uh, to give the recommendations to the farmer. Ultimately, currently we sell the hardware and then we have the annual software subscription. Ultimately, we'll just have a, a subscription price. We'll bake the, the, the hardware cost into the annual subscription. And our target gross margins long-term are in the 60 to 70% range, which is about where they should be in a, a blended SaaS plus hardware business. Our go-to-market, we started with direct sales, but we've quickly built out channel partnerships in our key regions of focus. Um, channel partners include people like irrigation equipment dealers, agronomy retailers, agronomy consultants, and farming co-ops. These are our deployments to date. So we've made significant progress. We, we launched the wireless underground system in spring of 2019. We did have some beachhead deployments of our previous generation of technology in California, 
but we really are growing at a rapid clip with the exception of Q4 last year where COVID hit the Midwest pretty hard. But we've, you know, now have over a thousand sensing locations deployed with over, well over a hundred customers, uh, closer to 200 customers across more than 20 crop types. The team really has the business domain and technical expertise to win in this market. I, I mentioned myself, Farouk and Jeff. Farouk's really has expertise in machine learning, AI and wireless systems. And then Jeff is a, a PhD physicist. So he, he does know a lot about near field communication, which is the fundamental technology underlying the WUGS. And he's also a soil sense, sensor expert with over 30 years experience in that space. Dr. David Sloan is our chief agronomist. He's an expert in irrigation agronomy, been in that game for well over 25 years. And Vince Ferrante, who ran sales, North American sales for me at my last company, is an expert at building out channel partnerships, strategic selling, and managing sales organizations. In summary, you know, we're, we're just getting started, but we've already deployed over a thousand sites with a deployment footprint of over a hundred thousand acres. Our current customers represent over a million deployable acres and our dealer network 4 million acres. We have strategic partnerships, key IP and patents. We're really building a decision support tool for agronomy as a service. And we believe we have the team technology and business approach to win in this market. And with that, I'll turn it back over to David for, for any questions we have from him or from the audience. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Patrick, for a session. Yeah. And congrats on all the progress to date. As, as Patrick mentioned, if there are questions, the best way to ask a question is to type your question to the Q&A box, and I will um, answer those questions in the order that they are received. Patrick, just to sort of kick things off as we sort of wait for some questions from the audience, I think one thing that's obviously extremely pertinent for anybody living in the West right now that's paying attention to the news is just how drastic the the Western drought situation is today. And I think for anybody who's who either grew up in the West or has lived here for some time, obviously there have been summers where similar concerns have been brought up, but it seems as it, it, it is as extreme as it ever has been. And so as, as, we start to think about water as an increasingly scarce resource in places where extremely high value crops are grown. Can you just talk about what that has, it, it, have, have there been any fun? David, we're having an issue with your audio. There's that electronic sound again. I'm glad that wasn't just me. <laughs> We caught the first part of what you said, just the last bit. This should be better. Is that better now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, got it. I guess, it, has there been sort of a flip the switch moment with any of your customers in terms of the way that they're thinking about water management as opposed to other problems that are on the farm? Yeah, I mean, if you look at water management, especially in the West, I mean, the Colorado River Basin, which services a lot of the Western states, we have, we have a massive problem. And it's been building for, for some period of time with population growth, with, with, with what we have going on, in addition to climate change, which, which is real. And climate change component of it is really like an amplifier. Dry years are going to be drier. You're going to have more dry years. And then you get a lot of unpredictability in terms of the wet years, and they might be super wet. So I think water management is becoming in the forefront, um, especially in those states. But for the mainstream farmers throughout the Midwest, throughout the United States, throughout the world, you know, there's still um, a main focus on ROI. What's your return on investment? So the initial focus initially is on yield improvement and areas where there's water is more scarce, like the Agalala Aquifer, which is the Western Corn Belt, the Western Plains from the Texas Panhandle up through Western Kansas and Nebraska. That's clearly an area where uh, these guys, a lot of them are deficit irrigators. They can't pump enough water to keep up with the crop during the growing season. So they have to put water down in the preseason just to, to wet up the soil enough. But as you go further east, a lot of the times it's the problem of too much water at certain times. So dealing with flood mitigation, dealing with nitrates running into the groundwater. So all of these things, the technologies that Grow Guru provides can help improve those situations. We, we not only save water, we make more efficient use of the water. You get more yield per drop, as we talked about, and in areas where there's government regulation like Sigma in California, like some of the nitrate runoff things in Iowa and California, I think there's much, much more emphasis on this 
But farming is tough. And what they really want to focus on is do they get a rapid payback period? And with Grow Guru, the payback period is less than one growing season. So I think all of these things come into play and it's going to be more and more significant over time, the importance of properly managing water. Got it. Thanks, Patrick. One question we have from the audience here, are there challenges that exist between the unit signaling and the bandwidth slash Wi-Fi needs on the farm, i.e. whole farm connectivity issues? Yeah, so what we do from the field telemetry, the we're relatively low data rate in the data that we're providing from underground. It's you know in the kilobits type of range. So basically the key is to get it out of the ground reliably using the WUG system. And then we either use LoRa to a base unit or directly from cellular to the cloud. So we're, you know, at this stage, we're not piggybacking a bunch of other data sources onto our backhaul. Over time, that may be the case, but really our data rates are, are so low and you, the typical frequency of reporting is either 15 or 30 minutes. So it's not a real onerous amount of, of heavy lifting on the backhaul system. Got it. Thanks, Patrick. One thing, just pertaining a little bit back to that last question, just the, the first question about water management in the West, but obviously water management being a challenge globally and more and more in different locations. Do you have a vision for how you see Grow Guru being deployed across different crops and sort of what makes sense the most today and sort of what the different challenges are from a deployment standpoint and like specialty versus row? Yeah, so within, within the broad acre row crops, permanent install makes a huge amount of sense because the elimination of annual install and removal. Plus you get continuous data and what, you know, Farouk Anjum, my co-founder likes to call clean data, which you can apply machine learning algorithms to because the soil sensor stays in the same place for years. So having year to year comparisons, having preseason data, end of season data, all of that information can give you additional insights to make management decisions. In the case of permanent crops, which is more California and the Pacific Northwest, there's still an advantage of the WUGs because a lot of times gophers chew cables, farm workers cut through cables. So having the elimination of cables we're finding is really important in those crops as well. In root vegetables like potatoes and sugar beets, annual install and removal probably still makes sense because you dig up the root system. So that's where our partnership with Centac makes a lot of sense with their drill and drop probe it's a very efficient way to get soil sensors in and out of the soil. And we have a software only solution where we work with them on an API relationship and are able to support those farmers as well. So it's really, as you know, you know, agriculture is kind of verticals within verticals. There is no horizontal market. There's geographic verticals, there's farming verticals, there's irrigation verticals, crop verticals. So you really have to say, okay, pick our spots where we have the most value. And that's what we've done. That's why if you look at the map, we're not everywhere to everybody. We're focused on the areas where we provide the most significant value proposition and over time extend those beachhead opportunities. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Well, I'm gonna pause here and see if there's any additional questions from the audience before I ask one last question of you, Patrick. Okay. So if you have any questions, if you have any, if there are any additional questions now is a great time for the audience. Seeing none, uh, Patrick, what can the audience help you out with the most and, and how can they find you? Yeah, so the, the, the big areas of focus for us are, are clearly we're, we're continuing to find new customers, build out our channel partnerships, build out our strategic partnerships like we have with DTN and Valley. You know, there's a lot of the farm input companies, farm equipment companies that we have di a dialogue with. If you're in that, in that space and this really interests you, definitely reach out best way to reach me is patrick at growguru.com but right now we're we're really excited about building our business we've established a good footprint and we we have an opportunity to really start accelerating our growth especially past the pandemic i mean the pandemic slowed us down a little bit but we're excited about the prospects we've had a really good first half in 2021 and we're excited for the remainder of the year in 2022 and beyond got it Perfect. Well, uh, Patrick, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, and congratulations again on all the progress to date. Um, I'd also like to thank our audience for your active participation.
We host these, these agri-food conversations every Thursday at 3 p.m. Central. And if you want to share this with a friend, we welcome you to do so. A replay of this webinar will be emailed to you in the next 24 hours. And new viewers can register for agri-food conversations by going to agrifoodconversations.com. Um, and if you'd like to learn more, join us next week. We host another exciting company working in water management. Thanks, everyone, for your time. We look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks, David. Really appreciate the time.